Hey guys, it's Rob here, and uh, today I'm doing my what's in my hospital bag video. Now I'm 38 weeks, so I could be delivering anytime soon, uh, and I just wanted to come and do this video really quick for you all. I started work last week, but my students came back uh, today. So, huh, a lot going on right now, and I really wanted to get this video in before anything happened. Um, so my hospital bag is divided into three sections. There's daddy section, mommy section, and baby section. Uh, and I'm just gonna go through each of those categories with you. All right, so first, at the very top of my bag, I have this um, document holder. This has uh, an extra copy of my FMLA paperwork. It has our insurance information. It has our pediatrician information, an extra pin, you know, just in case. Uh, really, all of my paperwork is taken care of already, so I don't really anticipate needing this, but just in case you never know, so document holder. Uh, next is daddy stuff. So with daddy stuff, his stuff goes by really fast. Um, I have packed for him an extra pair of pajamas and underwear and an extra outfit. So that's daddy stuff. Um, also a pair of slippers. I put his slippers in the bag. He took them out for some reason. If they don't make it to the hospital, that's not my fault. Then for mommy section, for myself, I brought disposable nursing pads. Brought two packs of those just in case. I don't know if my milk will come in, but you never know. I have the Hanes Ultra Plush High Cut Panties. So these are the biggest panties I could find, grandma panties, and ladies, we all know why we need those. Next I have two pairs of fuzzy socks. What's important about these socks though is that there are grips at the bottom just because the hospital floor is really slippery and I guess that's uh, after giving birth you are a slip risk. Um, and I brought two. My mom will probably end up taking one of these, so one for her, one for me. Next, I have uh, a robe, and I'm not going to unfold the robe, but I have this really pretty like cheetah print, cheetah print robe, and it came with a gown, and um, I got it for a really good price at Marshall. So a gown and a robe. Uh, just the robe is really light because I live in Texas, and it's really hot in August, um, so I don't think I'll need anything super heavy duty. Next, I have uh, a breastfeeding bra and it's the sports bra kind just because I want comfort. Um, I also have a uh, regular nursing bra too to wear just in case but I imagine I'm just probably going to wear these the whole time I'm there. Next I have a pair of pants pajamas so I have just these capri pants and they're black with polka dots and a pink bow and then a pink shirt to go with it that matches the bow. Yeah, I got these really inexpensively. I can't even remember where I got all this stuff from. I think Marshalls and Target, a combination of those two. Lastly, I have a black maxi dress, and it's just the tank top black long maxi dress. Um, black for a very good reason. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't want anything to show through. It's so black. And it's super comfortable and you know since it's hot right now in Texas I won't be too uh, warm in that. Next I have flip-flops for the shower and to walk home in. Next I have all of my toiletries and I put them in this really fun bag. These are my sorority colors and I actually got this at a sorority conference. So inside the top here I have my uh, loofah and I have body wash for myself and body wash for Marcus so for him here I have my makeup and I'm wearing very few makeup like not a lot of makeup at all um, but I brought this just for pictures and when people come to see me like I want to look presentable um, and I have a chapstick right here this is the Nivea simmer kiss I don't know right here I just have some like wet wipes for whatever reason inside this bottom part of this organizer which I really love I have two toothbrushes with toothpaste one for me and one for Marcus and then my mom I think has her own I have face wash deodorant lotion 
Vino, one of our favorites. Mouthwash. And lastly, a uh, moisturizer for my face. Okay, the last thing I have for myself, the mommy section, um, I have a bunch of these maxi pads. These are the biggest pads I could find and I've never had to use a pad this big in my life. So, all right, so next is baby stuff. So first I have one of her Aiden and Ana swaddling blankets. And I just have it in this like really cute pale pink color. It's very basic. Next I've brought a little pale pink hat. It matches her swaddling blanket. It's really cute. Got this from the Baby Gap. So next is her going home outfit or her anticipated going home outfit. It's this little dress here and it has white seahorses on it. It is the most adorable thing ever. Really cute. And to go with that uh, is a cardigan. A little cardigan. It's so adorable. Um, just for in the hospital or, you know, just in case she doesn't wear that. I mean, I have a sleeper. It's a newborn sleeper. And it, it's the same color. It's a turquoise color around here. It has an elephant with a pink bow on it. Um, so her hat will match that. And then uh, a onesie, just a basic onesie. Also got, got this from the Baby Gap. And this isn't a bigger size. Everything's been newborn. This is actually a zero to three month. Just in case, she's a big girl. And then next we have some little socks. So these are white and pink socks. Uh, these are all solid pink socks. And both of these pairs of socks match everything that she has here. And then just a pair of white mittens. And I also have a pink pair of mittens. I don't know where I put them though. Yeah. All right. Uh, the last like section, I guess, I forgot to mention is our technology section. So in the very front of the suitcase, which I've already shown, if not, then I'll insert a clip here. Uh, we have our Nook, one of my Christmas gifts. And I'm not sure if I'm really going to have time to read, but uh, Marcus may really enjoy this. So that's for him. Then, of course, our charger for the Nook. Um, we have our extra camera batteries. Of course, my camera case will go in and uh, our phones, our phone chargers, um, but that won't be until later. All right, and then last but not least, we definitely have our Bakken pillow. Yep, just for breastfeeding in the hospital. And that's it, guys. My hospital bag is really simple. I did not want to overpack. I wanted to um, effectively pack and make sure it was efficient and not just a bunch of extra stuff. Uh, if you have any suggestions about what I may need, um, I think I left out, I need to put in nipple cream uh, and there was something else, like hemorrhoid spray, but I may get a lot in the hospital, so I think the only extra thing I'll put in is nipple cream. If you have any other suggestions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully with a baby, fingers crossed.